G'day guys and welcome to another one of my Digimon Re-Rise videos. Today we're doing a banner review because it's two Digimon for Super Susanamon, uh, Super Deft and Super Golfmon, also Super Deft. So in this video I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on each of these Digimon. Um, I'll give them my own personal tier list, each of the game modes and um, I'll give you my overall thoughts on the banner as well. First things first, this banner is slightly different to how it looked on JP. Uh, Golfmon came with Justimon, Super Def Justimon. Susanamon was his own banner. Putting them together is actually pretty good and it does make the, uh, the banner pretty valuable as well. Let's have a quick look at Susanamon, see what he does. Stats good, pretty good HP, quite high power, actually really high power. Pretty good defense and a nice 30 speed there as well. His EX skill um, has the negate auto revive effect on it, which is really, really cool. Um, not many Digimon have that for quite a while, so it's definitely a powerful effect. Can help you deal with things like heavy Leomon, Omega Mons, anything with auto revives built into their kit. Uh, his main skill is a single target three times hit, bypasses damage limiters, Bypasses evasion and cancels evasion with a high chance to stun. Um, it's got an alright multiplier, but no crit multiplier or anything. You're not going to be getting the maximum amount of damage. The uh, the EX skill has a really good multiplier since it hits twice as well. It's a uh, it's a really good like that's like three thousand percent. That's pretty good. Um, the sub skill is all enemies gets rid of evasion again. Sixty percent defense decrease and gets rid of power, tech, defense, and damage resist up that the enemy have, so it's a buff clearer, which is always good. Plus he hits all enemies, which I really like. Um, you're gonna be getting rid of a lot of effects if you pop this sub skill. He's passive, <laughs> he's passive. 60% defense reduction. Power and tech damage resistance reduction, 60%. 1.5 damage to blue enemies, so it's a blue killer and Protects all allies from shock, error, and blind for 10 turns. The juicy bit is these first three things. He is super calm Beelzemon and super brave Omegamon smashed into one. Defense reduction is always really, really powerful. Um, power and tech damage resistance. So you can run a mixed team with this guy. He's a really, really good mixed support Digimon. Uh, HP on his power stat and HP on his defense stat as well. Double HP, which is interesting. Uh, moving on to Golfmon. This guy is super juicy, by the way, guys. Prepare yourselves. Uh, good HP, really good HP. Um, this guy is a tech uh, def type. Not great tech stat. Really high defense and an okay speed. His EX skill, all enemies, gets rid of anti-crit gets rid of damage limiters, and gets rid of power, tech, defense, and damage resistance buffs. He pretty much gets rid of everything. Like, a lot of stuff gets removed with this EX skill. Um, it's hitting all enemies as well, which is great. Then you can start critting again after this, if they have anti-crit on their team. Main skill is three enemies twice, 50% chance to stun, and clears defense, power, tech, damage resistance buff on allies. So this one removes it from enemies. This one removes uh, negative buffs from your um, from the whole team, which is also great. You pop the EX and the main. There's not going to be left much uh, negative effects left on anything on the field. Sub skill: all enemies and 80% damage resistance reductions of power and tech. Uh, pretty standard skill. There's nothing too crazy. Passive skill: minus 50% power and tech of all enemies. 50% crit rate and a 5,000 shield. This guy is crazy, man. 50% power and tech is really good. Um, there is a few Digimon that release that can negate this effect, but it's pretty powerful. You will notice Digimon hitting a lot less hard onto your team. 50% crit rate universal is amazing. Plus, you can remove that crit um, protection from the enemy team, which is good as well. 5,000 shield, don't underrate that. That's a fair shield, it's not too bad. He has crit, he has HP on his plugins. All right, we've quickly blasted over um, what these two Digimon do. Now I'm gonna give you my personal, personal thoughts and opinions on these guys in each of the game modes. 
Let's start with Susanomon, super deft type. Of course, we'll start with Clash Battle. Eh, he's not fantastic. His passive skill is great for a mixed Clash Battle team, but he doesn't have amazing multipliers or anything that's going to make him hit super, super hard. Um, the support is the only thing you would really run this guy for. Um, and and he, he does support in multiple, multiple ways. Uh, so I'm going to give him a plus here for Clash Battle. Not too crazy. Um, in the Underworld Dungeon, nothing special at all. He is B plus tier. And in PvP, he is really, really good. Um, that universal support is amazing. You can whack him on any team and he's going to be helping your allies out. Um, auto revive cancel is always useful. Um, plus, you can do some other um, pretty cool things like removing effects and stuff. So I'm going to give him S tier for PvP. Longevity for this guy, really good. The, people still use this guy in JP because of that dual support effect. Plus, he has a, a really cool kit. He will replace your Omegamon, he will replace your Beelzemon, um, and do the job better than them overall in most situations. So I'm going to give him S tier for longevity. He's going to be good for a long, long time. Golfmon, super deft. Uh, again, we'll start with Clash Battle. This guy does not bring a lot. Again, more of a support type Digimon, but he is really not going to be hitting hard at all. The only reason you would bring him to Clash Battle if you needed um, to somehow remove a lot or a lot of positive effects on the enemy or negative effects on your team. Uh, I'm going to give him uh, B plus tier in Clash Battle. In the Underworld Dungeon, again, nothing crazy there. I'm going to give him B plus tier. In PvP, this guy is S tier. He is really, really good. Don't underestimate his stun chance that hits multiple times. Don't underestimate this passive. Don't underestimate removing um, debuffs and buffing and just crazy support stuff. So I'm going to give him S tier here. And longevity for this guy. You're going to be using him for quite a while as well. As long as the Susanamon, I'm not so sure. This guy's more defensively based. Susanamon is more offensively based. Um, together they pair really well as well. I'm going to give this guy S tier for longevity purely in PvP. I think you're going to get a lot of use out of this guy as well. That's it guys, I'm going to wrap up the video there. Let me know down below, are you summoning on the Susanamon Super and Golfmon Super banner? And if you have already summoned, because the banner should be live by the time this video goes out, how did your summons go? I will catch you in the next one. Bye!